What's going on guys, Bobby here, and today I'm going to be showcasing my skills as Brawl Stars number one gene. Jello Beats, holla at me! So here we go into the first game, so we're going to be facing a bow, Barnacle Boy, who is a definitely a very old friend of mine, and a Rico. So when playing Gene, the first tip I can give you is always go for the squishier targets. So obviously here, that will be the ricochet. You can chip a little bit, as you can see I chipped the bow. I mean the bull ones, chipping the bow. But your target, the person you should be mainly facing, should always be the squishiest on the other team. So basically right here, this is what I love so much about Gene, is you cannot stop shooting. You just keep shooting, shoot, shoot, shoot. With uh, The auto aim also is really good up close, so make sure you're auto aiming when you're up close. But it's so hard for them to kill, for them to uh, regen. Because look how far this range is. So I'll shoot in the middle right here. It is so absolutely far and so absolutely wide. It is unreal. It's so hard for the other person to regen. All you have to do is just continuously shoot. Don't let the other person regen, and eventually you'll chip them down. Like look, I can stand right here, chip, chip. Just keep chipping away, and they will not regen. So his super, his super is fairly simple. You want to hit, go for people with 4,400 damage or, or health or less. This is a pull and three shots. You don't want to be anything above three shots because that will give them too much time and they'll likely be able to kill you. Basically, grab. Oh, didn't grab there. But yeah, that's basically it. You just want to grab the weaker opponents and just dominate your lane. And let's hop right into the next one. So on to the second game here. Looks like we're gonna have some interesting lanes. So basically what we're gonna wanna do is just kind of pick any of them. So it looks like we're just gonna go left here just cause they're more comfortable on the left side. So we do have a mortise here. We're just not gonna let it regen. Basically we're gonna chip along. We're not doing too much damage, but the key is to never let the mortise regen. So here Jigsaw is gonna help us out in our lane. I don't know exactly where everyone is. Okay, so we got a bow over there and a Jesse in the mid. We're gonna be able to take out the Jesse. It looks like the mortise is gonna, it doesn't really look like it knows what it's doing to be honest. So we're just gonna kind of chip away, doing little chips. As you can see, we're hitting both of them actually. Gonna go for it, oh, OG killed him first. Anyways, up seven nothing. So far this has been really easy. Just gonna continue holding my lane. As you guys know, lanes are very important to hold. So we're just gonna keep holding. You guys don't need to aim from a distance, like, yet, what's really important is learning how far you can auto-aim from. So from about here to the wall, it's a free hit every single time, you're going to hit him for 1400. When you get to a little bit of a further distance, it's definitely not going to hit every time. But yeah, when you're up close, definitely auto-aim so you get that full hit. Kept the lane the entire game for the most part. Now sometimes with the pull, you don't necessarily need to kill somebody but more just get them out of the way and that's definitely a tip that's good for brawl ball or something like that when someone's about to score pulling someone out of the way even though you're gonna die is definitely the high iq move to make so here we go getting into showdown now so i just wanted to showcase uh gene in a few different modes that's why i'm playing showdown Anyways, although we are going to be playing Showdown, I definitely don't recommend Showdown. Gene actually isn't super strong in any specific mode. Now, I will say that Gem Grab and Brawl Ball are the best modes, but Gene is very, very, very map specific. Is that Robo? I don't really play Showdown that much, so I don't really know. Oh, it's a power up. That is OP. But yeah, anyways, Gene is extremely map specific, so you don't really want to be trying out too many different things with Gene. Uh oh. Got a bit too cocky there. Power up. Uh oh. Well that's a solid fifth place right there. Anyways, we're gonna get into our last game. I don't really want to tilt the genes when we play Nita, but still talking about Gene. Anyways, best modes definitely are Brawl Ball and Gem Grab. Again, very map specific, so you can't just Throw them on your team once you get it. Throw them on your team once you get into that mode and expect automatic wins. It's definitely not how it works with Gene. As of now, maybe he will get changed, but as of now, it's definitely not how it works. Just gonna go in over here. Coco and Frank looks like it's a tough team to beat. Guess we got a power. We're gonna throw a bear on them. Oh, damn. 
Let's go, OG. Hit that shot. Oh, no. He's not getting the Poco. Oh, no. All right. Well, that's... That's hit of the video, geez. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed at least the Gene gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed the tips. Anyways, that is a few tips about how I got number one Gene. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys learned a little bit. And as always, this is Bobby coming at you, and I will see you next time. Peace.